It's a new month and I can't wait to make some new comic dubs. If you missed any of last month's, here is the entire collection from August. So, Baldy, right? Please tell me why I should hire you as a teacher. You see, I'm a great teacher. The only problem is, if a student gets an answer wrong, they will get the slappy slap slap. He's a great teacher. Go for it. That's too big of a risk. We really need a teacher for our school. He might hurt somebody. Yes. No. Uh, you're hired. Yay. Now, where are those bad students? <laughs> Remember, no wrong answers. So, what's nine plus ten? Twenty-one? Wrong! Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick maths. Baldy, look at my new hair. Huh? I was saying. It look okay? Oh, 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 uh. He's so handsome. <laughs> One, two, three. Oops, you messed up. Let's try again. From the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready? <sighs> no playing in the halls. Come here! Oh god! Oh god! Run away! Run away! Let's play! Oh no! <laughs> nope. Principal, is that a weed? Well, not that kind of. I'm calling the police! Uh, playtime. That's a microwave. Nine one one. What's your emergency? What? What? Random fact number three. In the Baldi's original game design, his shirt was blue. I'll take that. <laughs> it's mine now. No wearing so much blue in the halls. Look at my new friend. Get that thing away from me. I swear to God, Baldi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your answers. Hmm. It seems all right. Wait. Um, um, m m Mr. Baldy? Is it okay? Looks like you earned a slappy slap. Oh, God, not again. All right, class. What is two plus two? Uh... 22? When will you learn? When will you learn that your actions have consequences? <laughs> this is episode one of the Arts and Crafters series. That's me. Hiya there. My name is Arts and Crafts, and it's nice to meet you. Come on down to the art room and ask me stuff. If I'm not too nervous about other people, of course. Let's all play, said Arts and Crafts. Wanna play? Gasp! Boy, I'd love to. Let me just swoosh! Now I am ready to play! Let's go jump rope! Anonymous said, Oh my goodness, what a cutie you are! Oh, nuts. You're far too kind, Anon. <laughs> Nobody has ever called me cute before. I'm about to flop over. Uh, somebody sent me this. Um, hey, pal, I don't think you're supposed to sketch this kind of art in school. The Waffle Frog said, do you like waffles? Well, of course I do. It's the most important meal of the day. How could anybody not love waffles? Ask Ball Duh says, oh, hey. Gasp, why, hello there. I did not know there was a female Baldy. That's incredible. It's nice to meet you. Anonymous says, what is your opinion on Baldy or the principal? Also, you're so adorable. Thank you so much. Well, Mr. Baldy seems to be a very polite teacher. Plus, he's very good at doing math stuff. But... 
but sometimes he can get out the lure. And I really don't want to disappoint Mr. Baldy. The principal is good at doing his job, of course. But I can't do the stuff in the halls. At least I can secretly do the stuff in Mr. Baldy's class. Don't tell him no. An anonymous says, Do you have a crush on somebody? Oh, Paper Doll, you're such a beautiful girl. Would you like to dwell with me? Let me just say, Miss Paper Doll has to be the doingest cause for me. Principal, Bully broke my jump rope. He took the other half, too. Oh, Playtime, I'm so sorry about that. Bully is getting a detention extension today. And for your jump rope, I'll have Baldy buy you another one after school today. Thank you for telling me about this. Please head back to class right now, Miss Ford. Thank you, Mr. Thing. Hey, Baldy, do everyone at this school a favor. I have an idea. Let's do something nice. All right, how do, how do these keys work? I put, I put, the, I put the key in, 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 in the door. Something I, I forget. Baldy! Mr. Baltimore! Huh? Oh, hi, Playtime. What are you doing here? Well, Mr. Thing said you'd be going to the store after school to get me a new jump rope, and I wanted to ask, can I come with you? Don't you have to go home? Have dinner or something? Well, I'm always bored at the shelter, and the food is... Wait, you live at the shelter? That place sucks. Go ahead and sit in the front seat, kiddo. I would have done anything to stay out of that place at your age. Thank you so much, Mr. Baltimore. Hmm, which one do you want, Playtime? Uh, I can't see it. I think I should get that blue one. I... Huh? You can shapeshift? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I was just trying to see the labels better. No, <laughs> it's amazing. You're really skilled for your age. What? Mrs. Stone still runs the place, right? She's a big, dumb idiot who always said to me, Nobody, Nobody wants, wants a, a polymorph. polymorph. She still says that. You must be wearing your only dress. Yeah, she says that if I can shapeshift, I should be able to fit into my old clothes. Huh? Pick any three outfits you want. It's on me. Thank you, Mr. Baltimore. What's with this sassy lost child? Baldy, the children are telling me you've been uh, sniffling and coughing lately. Are you sick? Do you need a few days off? Princey, I I'm telling you, I'm not <coughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Baldy, just take the day off, please. I'm sure it'll help. I'm not sick. <laughs> All right, playtime. One more time. One, two, three, oh. Whoops, you messed up. Let's try again. From the top, count to five. All right? Ready, go! One, two, three, four. Oops, you messed up. <laughs> Let's try again. From the top, ready, go! Fudge. <laughs> Downstar58 asked, Did the others try to harm you on your first day working at the casino? Let me at him. We see you absolute dolt. <laughs> <sighs> Yummy Yugi X Patricia says, Hello, I'm new to your blog and it's amazing. I have a question for King Dice. Why are you sexy as hell? Mugman and Cuphead, why are you working there? You two are too adorable to work there. Especially Mugman. My, my, what a question. 
You, you really think I'm adorable? Cause I want money! Mm. Oh boy. Anonymous asked, even though things turned out okay, do you still feel bad about gambling your souls cups? How long did it take for Mugs to forgive you? I guess I shouldn't be dwelling on it. I mean, things have turned out fine, haven't they? <laughs> we even joke about it sometimes, but man, back then I felt bad. Didn't think he'd ever forgive me. In fact, I tried convincing him I could fix this myself. When I got the first few contracts myself, but, of course... Uh... Player two has joined! Stand behind me, Cubby! Thanks, bro. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. We'll kick these guys' butts. Anonymous asked, Cups, have either of you beat Dice Face or Devil at Poker? Never could. They always cheated in my world. No, and I swear they do cheat! Those buttheads! A whole bunch of people asked, what does Elder Kettle think of you two working in the Devil's Casino? Elder Kettle passed away long before we worked here. That's just a feels trip out of nowhere. Denny Benny asked, what do King Dice and the Devil think of Elder Kettle? And how is Cuphead and Mugman's relationship with him? He was a fair man. I met him only once. He never cheated, hated lying, a good heart, really. A caring relationship they had. Anonymous says, Here, maybe... Ties a blue ribbon around Mug's handle, hiding the chip. Hmm, I'd offer something else, but I got nothing here. Sorry, Mugs. Huh? Thank you. This is actually kind of nice. You don't need to apologize for anything. Thanks. Anonymous asks, Are Cuphead and Mugman twins, or is one of them older than the other? We're twins, but... Technically, I'm older. By like, a minute or something. I'm still older. Oh, he'll never let it go. Anonymous says, Uh, King Dice is so hot. Oh my god, you're only feeding his already massive ego. <laughs> thank you. Apollo 16 says, Well, hello there! Always seen Mugman as the responsible one and Cuphead as the manipulative one, so that's why they end up in the same situations. Is it true? Also, why are you two cups so adorable? Especially Mugman, the clothes are aesthetically pleasing. As it so happens, I do tend to take the responsible role, but manipulative? That's still this guy. Cuphead! This whole adorable little mug is just a trick to get what he wants, and it's actually our way out of situations. Everyone always thinks he's all innocent, but really, I also like to have a bit of fun. It's just that I know when to stop, unlike someone. Thank you, by the way. Pretty sure they were made by one of the boss's demons. Everyone in my live stream chat and on this anonymous blog asked, Hey Cups and Mugs, can I give you guys a hug? Uh, sure, I, I guess. Wait, Mugs, be careful. What if they can't be trusted? Anonymous says, You two are the most adorable cup and mug I have ever seen. You two deserve a reward. How about a raise? I'm sure you two make the cutest puppy eyes. A raise? Now you're talking my language. Aw, oh, you guys are just too kind. Y yeah, those puppy eyes are filled with nothing but greed. Anonymous asked, so do you two shout out something when you're about to land a huge attack? You know, like, are you ready? Or we won't give up? Eat it! Pay your freaking debt! Suck my shorts! Shut up, cuphead! Well, 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 there's that. Anonymous says, Oh, looks like somebody has a crush on Calamaria. <laughs> Cuphead, you gonna give Mugman some tips? Love ain't real. <laughs> yeah, Cuphead's not a romantic. Anonymous asked, Have you ever switched your clothes, Cuphead and Mugman? Hey, boss! Hey, boss! <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous asked, King Dice, have you already surprised Cuphead doing something naughty? Hmm. Huh? So you do cheat! Uh, it's, uh, it's not what you think. Anonymous asked, King Dice, can I have a hand kiss? I think you are so elegant. You'll have to earn it, darling. Things don't come for free in the Devil's Casino. Cherry Diamond asked, hey King Dice, question. What is your opinion on Cups and Mugs working with you and the rest of the other staff members? 
When they first showed their mugs here asking for a job, I thought they went insane. Thought boss would set them on fire right there on the spot. And he almost did. But turns out, he had plans. But over time, they proved to be quite hardworking and useful. Fun to mess with. Fun to have around. And they managed to annoy Wheezy pretty well. <laughs> Anonymous said, I like that the devil has a little crown on his horn. <laughs> it's, uh, I used it to help mend my horn after it fell off. Don't need it no more, but I like it. So I'm keeping it. Anonymous asked, King Dice, do you enjoy teaching the bros card tricks? I only teach Mugman, and well, Guess it's a nice way to pass the time. I know he'll find it useful. Uh, okay, that's enough for today. Well, aren't you just a ray of pitch black, asked. So wait, in a previous ask, Mug blushed when asked about liking Calamaria. Mugman, are you crushing on the sweet mermaid lady? Does Cuphead know? Yeah. I'll never forget how she turned me to stone with that gaze, and then tried to drown me. She's a wonder. Ah, didn't you crush on like a whole bunch of the people we fought? Mostly just my wonderful fish lady. Yeah, I'll never forget how she turned me into stone with that glaze. Glaze, with that glaze. She turned me into a donut. <laughs> Anonymous said, Dice, can we see an example of you charming people out of more money than they have? <laughs> sure thing, kid. This is what they look like before I'm done with them. And this is after. <laughs> Redheaded hypocrite asked, Dice, do you ever perform at the casino? Occasionally. I'm oh Mr. God, King so Guys, I'm the oh, gamest in the land. Uh, oh, he's so I bad, never so play bad, nice, I'm, I'm the devil's right hand man. Lovely to Devilly explains, when they say the bad ending or the other ending, they mean like an alternate timeline where things are different, other choices were made that changed the outcome. In that timeline, you gave the devil the soul contracts, which got you guys corrupted and turned into demons, which is why it's called the bad ending. Oh hey, that's kind of like the comic book I'm reading. Uh, what? So wait, wait, you're saying there's a world where we became demons or something? Well, yeah, according to the theory, there's a timeline for every different outcome. And you call it the bad ending? Well, I guess getting turned into a demon would be pretty bad. Depends who's talking. <laughs> Ask Genie said, You know, Mug, if it's bothering you, I could try to repair that crack. I'm not a master with ceramics, but I'm decent. Th thank you for the offer, Genie, but unless we find the missing pieces, it's impossible. Blade Stonepunked picked up a dice and looked at King Dice and the brothers. You guys want to play a friendly game? Sorry, we kind of already started a game here. You're free to join, though. Come on, Seven! Come on, Seven! Oh, Snake Eyes, why? Anonymous says, are you guys crazy? You really had the great idea to work at the casino? What? It's fun here, all right? Jeez. Calm down, pal. I know it might seem crazy with the devil and all, but trust me, it's all good here. Well, aren't you just a ray of pitch black, asked. How's Cagney holding up? Has he started a garden or what? I hope he's doing okay. Best of luck. No, actually, instead, I joined a garden. At least, that's what I thought. Yeah, turns out I joined a gang. And I mean, who hasn't done that before, right? <laughs> oh, help me. Anonymous asked, Dice, Devil, do you want to do Undercover Boss in your casino? Nah, instead I just send out the imps and look through their eyes. It's easier. Seven Shooting Starwish asked, Hey Baroness Von Bonbon, since Bonbon, the last part of your name, means candy in French, can you speak French? And to both of you, Jimmy and Beppy, who do you think is the most popular out of the three? Thank you. We? Hmm, oh. Most popular, think. I admit, that would be Baroness. She has her own kingdom after all, but if we're speaking of the most popular entertainer, then I shall shamelessly- Get off me, you imbecile! <laughs> 
That's a surprise! Cause for someone who's supposed to be sweet, you sure are sour! You know, I think my collection lacks the head of an unbearable idiot! Why don't we change that? Alright, that's enough. No, I'm going to kill him! <laughs> Only if you can catch Get back me! Here! Anonymous asked, who is your tailor, King Dice? Believe it or not, it's these fellas. <laughs> Anonymous asked, Hey, Mr. King Dice, what was your cousin like? Was she a dice too? Dang, it's definitely been a while since I've tried thinking this far back. She was kind for a dice. Minnie was her name. Seven Shooting Starwish asked, Hey, King Dice, how do you do that card trick with your hands? Depends on which one we're talking about. I have a whole bunch of tricks. <laughs> Ryan CYT asked, Do both of you like working at the casino? I know it's a weird question, but I was just wondering. I like the casino. Minus the working. Hey, hey, I don't hate working. I just like not working more than working. Just wait until we get promoted to dealers, bro. That's where working will really be something. <laughs> Seven Shooting Star Wish asked, Hey, Cup Bros, heard of the Mugman Army glitch? No. Hi, Mugman. Hi, Mugman. Hi, Mugman. Hi, What's your name? Cuphead? Huh? Pay the freaking rent. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it was just a nightmare. Oh, God. Glad they patched that. My God. Anonymous asked, two questions. One, if you use one of those little electric buzzer things, will the devil's fur puff up? And two, would using a canister of hairspray anywhere near Mr. Wheezy, will he essentially turn into a flamethrower? FYI, I wouldn't test those two in the same vicinity of each other. Well, if Boss's fur obeys the laws of science, then surely he would. As for Mr. Wheezy, he only lights up when he's mad, and I really don't like getting him mad, but maybe if he gets angry enough, then... I guess. Brother? No, Cuphead. It was nice growing up with you. Cuphead, you will not. But I must find out. Cuphead, I'm not letting you get yourself fired today. It's for science! Cuphead, I swear! Wheezy, get your butt over here! Ninja Subita 65 asked, So, Cuphead and Mugman, how is Hocus Pocus? I hope this is his name. For Hocus Pocus, I mean the, uh, the rabbit. Hocus, uh, he's, uh, he's doing fine. I think. Oh, he's insane. <laughs> he shows me some sweet tricks sometimes. Yeah, he showed me some, uh, tricks as well. <laughs> the Magical Absterlini asked, Hey, Cubs and Mugs, what do you think about pets? Because here you go, have a pet chicken. Hands Mugman a chicken. Bye! Runs away. Uh, I don't know how to hold a chicken. Well, looks like we don't have to buy dinner tonight. Wait, no, not the ribbon! No, come back! Guess I uh, shouldn't have said that out loud. No, oh, well, watching Mugman chase a chicken is hilarious. <laughs> Level 100 Noctowl is just dabbing all over the casino. Uh, I just don't knock anything over, I guess. Anonymous said, so Mugman, why do you always hide behind your brother? And you are really easily impressed. Also, Cuphead, I don't really understand. Who is the elder brother? Well, we're twins, but I guess he's technically older by like a minute or something. I don't always hide behind him. Most of the time, it's him jumping in front of me. Now, what do you mean by easily impressed? We shoot bullets out of our fingers. That's impressive. Have you seen the stuff that happens in this world? Oh, this was a submission. I hope you like your new worker that I made. My name is Matilda. It's the devil's daughter. Uh, I don't have children. Shut up, devil. You could use more workers. She'll be of use. Thank you. As Genie said, Oh, Mug, do you know what Kintsugi is? You should check it out sometime. It's hella dope. I promise it's nothing bad. It's an art tactic used with pottery and ceramics. It's super interesting. Wow. Wait, that's awesome. Oh, I don't know if I can afford that, though. Thanks for sending that. Pi3104 asked, Hiya, King Dice. I was just wondering how you were doing, and I hope you're having a good day. I'm doing just fine. Thanks for asking. Got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> Procrastinating Bookworm asked, 
If Elder Kettle hadn't told you that you could, would you have fought the devil or just handed over the contracts? Whether he said it or not, we would never give them away. Right? <laughs> Anonymous asked, Mugs, would you like some pea sugar to go with your coffee? Wait, wait. There's still some of that left? Huh? I need it. I need it. Give me the sugar! Anonymous asked, Oh, Mugman, that's so nice that you're all sweet and bubbly for Calamaria. You ever plan on getting her something to show you care? It's almost Valentine's Day. Oh, man, we're late making this video. Oh, gosh. Valentine's Day. Maybe I should get something. But I don't even know if I'm ready or where exactly she moved to. And She moved to the seas by the forest. What, really? Uh, yeah. I heard some folks talk about it. Maybe I should. Well, if you're willing to lose that feeling of happiness, hope, but also uncertainty whenever you think of her, to the feeling of sadness, rejection, and probably regret for the chance to win the ultimate joy of knowing your loved one loves you back, then be my guest. <laughs> wow, love sounds a lot like gambling. Oh boy. Who am I kidding? I don't know how love works. What am I talking about? Anonymous said, y'all say mug is cute. Sure, but cup. That's adorable. You can't lie to yourselves about that. Uh, well, that's something you don't hear every day. Uh, you realize I'm a cop, right? Okay, just check it. Eggs and Toasty asked, King Dice, do you have a soul contract? If so, why did you make one? <laughs> it was a life or death situation. Welcome aboard, King Dice. <laughs> Anonymous asked, You two have any baby photos of you guys that you can share? I bet you two are the cutest little sippy cups. Uh, no baby photos, but there are some with us as kids. Hang on. Wait, pick one that ain't embarrassing. Oh, there's this one. Can you even remember what this is about? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Oh, look, it's you on your way to becoming a dish of destruction. Ah, oh, heck yeah! And it's you with Elder K Kettle. <laughs> I miss him. Me too, buddy. Me too. And after that field strip real quick, Anonymous asked, I ran out of money for the casino, but I don't have a soul. Will you take these instead? A paper clip, a stick of gum, a straw, and a rubber band? This is literally all my soul is worth. Uh, what kind of establishment do we look like to ya? No soul, no money, then scram. Anonymous asked, Mugman, how did you get that chip in your handle? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Pretty simple. Didn't dodge fast enough is how. Anonymous said, wait, can we see how the cup bros sleep at night? Oh uh, yeah, kick this. Oh, I'm gonna kick your butt, kick this. Oh, cow. Oh, you're so pretty. His name should be Sleepyhead instead of Cuphead. Got him! Anonymous asked, hey cups and mugs, did you guys freak out whenever each other would get hurt finding debtors? Did we freak out? Oh, we were terrified! It was also scary that we began getting used to it. And how we got used to seeing each other's souls fly out of our bloody corpses! Actually, scratch that, I still have nightmares about seeing your soul leave your body for the first time. I still have nightmares about your head splitting open and your hand falling off. In fact, I'll admit, I still have nightmares about Satan. Dude, seriously? We got screwed up from all this! Anonymous said, so what is it like to have a removable head? It ain't that special, except, uh, you got no neck. And you can do this. <laughs> and this. <laughs> there ain't anything special in my procedures, but if you count cosmetics as polishing, then uh, sure. Yeah, we basically scrub ourselves, but hey, how else are you gonna do it? And yeah, we do empty our heads, but we're never completely empty, because once everything is removed, our souls start to show. As Papertail says, 
if Cuphead is sleeping with his head off, then math means if he takes a nap at work, others can take his head off and do whatever they want with it. I mean, I would definitely take that opportunity to get revenge for all of his pranks. And that what you said right there is why I don't want to fall asleep around here. Kinda why we usually have our heads full of tea or coffee. Though, you did fall asleep once when you came to work with alcohol instead of tea and... Yeah, and then I woke up bodiless, drowning in the sink. I think it was the tipsy troop that... Did they actually think I was one of the casino's dishes? Are they blind or something? Like, what? They're constantly drunk, that's for sure. <laughs> I hate you guys. Watermelon Tourmaline Jim asked, Hey, King Dice, what did you think of the devil when you first met him? Troubling. The Wheezing Nut asked, Where did the Cup Bros get their fabulous suits? It's the casino's uniform. It does look quite nice, though, eh? <laughs> and Blushy Bits asked, Hey, boys, good to see you two doing well at the casino. Just a thought, but I know this recipe called mug cakes, where you can make little cakes inside of a cup. So I was wondering if you two would ever be interested in making some with your heads. I bet Baroness Von Bon Bon will like this, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Mm. Taste me. I'm delicious. No one should taste this good. Anybody watch Invader Zim? <laughs> Camping trip! Do you have a driver's license? What's a license? I'm driving. Okay, now that we're camping, go out to the woods and collect firewood. Then bring it back to refuel the fire. Seriously? Give me that. Huh? Oh, uh, Betsy, my ruler. Just what do you think you're doing, you weird? Player, this is ten times detention for you for cutting class. When will you ever learn? Princey, I already learned a lesson. Something more. Oh, really? Since when? Now, this is a picture of Baldy wearing red lipstick. I know you like it. I stole it from your office while you weren't there. <laughs> 99 seconds, detention for you. Baldy, I'm getting sick of you hitting our students. Well, sir. So I have no choice but to say this. You're fired. This is, is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. I shouldn't have made Baldy so angry. <laughs> uh, Bully, Bully, help! That was really dumb. Um, Mr. Baldy, <laughs> here you go. Huh? Zero plus six plus three equals. Ew. <laughs> no joking with math! Hey, calm down, it was a joke! Okay, correct, correct, and call- Bobby! <laughs> hey, can I borrow a ruler, please? I'll give you a ruler! You know what? I think I hear playtime calling. <laughs> Run away! Hey, Baldy! Hey, Principal! What is it? Me and Baldy are busy. Yeah, make it quick. If you and Baldy were triangles, what would you guys be? I don't know. A cute couple. That's more slapping for you. 99 seconds, detention for you. Ah! When you see Baldy for the first time. B -b Bald. 
When the fandom saw him. Bald. 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 When the principal saw him. Oh, my eyes. Why? Oh, the humanity. Oh, open you. Open. Oh, no. She's almost here. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Freedom! No running in the halls. Huh? No! Every time. Why? All right. We're going to the camp. Uh, yes, but who's the real owner of this bus? Me. Really? Because I read Joe. Get on the bus. Okay. Hey, is that my bus? Get moving. Hi. Hello, Baldy. This is for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Oh my God, he's so cute. Stop sweating. Stop sweating. It's embarrassing. Come on. Come on, get it together, Principal. Hey, Mr. Baldy! Is this called Baldy's Basics because you've never actually grown a full set of hair on top of your head like me? And basic because all you wear every day is a green shirt with blue pants? <laughs> oh my God, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Huh? I told you to put it on the fire! Ah! Yeah, that's my girl. Hey, uh, can I borrow your ruler? Thank you. Smack! Don't touch my ruler! <laughs> oh, Principal. Oh, Baldy. Um, Baldy? What are you doing? Uh, 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 nothing. <laughs> I have no mating call. I have rulers, and I am very handsome! <laughs> Please. Oh, so you are the V.O. Adam. How are you gonna beat me? Slap me? Oh, Baldy, you know I have a ruler too, right? I have this extra long ruler! Triple extra long ruler! Holly! Good lord! What is happening in there? Uh. Aurora Borealis? Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, Localized entirely within your classroom. Uh, y yes. May I see it? No. <laughs> he bought it. <laughs> uh, is there too much goo on my face? Uh, I need a mirror. Perfect. Oh. I do have a lot of goo on my face. <laughs> uh, mm, uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's a uh, nothing, really. <laughs> You're gonna get a slappy slap slap. <laughs> Kala, I have some questions for you, if you don't mind. Are you warm-blooded like a mammal or cold-blooded like a fish? What would you be classified as? What are you? I'm a mermaid, Dr. Carl. We've been over this. 
How much does this house weigh? There's no way your fragile bird bone should be able to support this. Who are you calling fragile? Just how on earth did you figure out you could swallow each other to form a slot machine? And how do you go back once the battle is done? Do you really want the answer to that? You're right! Never mind. Please. I just... I just have to know. Oh, no. What was your name before you became an old man? You couldn't have always been Elder Kettle, right? Boys, he's doing it again. Another question, Jared? Yep. I'm on it. Hello? Robot? Yeah, it's Cuphead. Yes. I know where your dad is. He's an aisle one, pestering my grandpa. Do you even have a mouth under your mustache? Please hurry. Hey, King Dice! I'm working in the kitchen. <laughs> At night! Hey, King Dice! I'm chopping lettuce. At night. Look at me! I'm swabbing the bathroom! At night. Ow! I burned my hand. At night. Night, 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 I always love a good SpongeBob reference. Yes! Stop! You can't use a scythe to dig! It's wrong! Why not? You use a shovel to kill. I fail to see your point. A shovel knight? Preposterous! This is the silliest thing I've- <laughs> Never mind! You are cool. Uh, Baldy, can you please put the math book down? Why? I love math. I know, but we're on the beach. You're supposed to be having fun. I am having fun by learning math. Principal, can we play now? <gasps> huh? I'm a boat. <laughs> oh, come on! Excellent! All the answers are correct. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, head pets. Here's the last quiz. Good luck! What the? Um. Ten minutes later. Why did it take you so long? Uh, um, Professor, the, the problem is. Oh. What the? Who changed the nine? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> LOL, BYE! Let's go camping! Wait! Two questions. Uh... Okay... One. Who the heck is Joe? Uh... No one. Two. How did you spell your name wrong? Kid... I'm a math teacher, not a writing teacher. Hey, Baldy. What? I have a little gift for you. Okay. Then what is it? My heart is a gift for you. Stupid principal. My heart. Let's go camping! Wait, Mr. Baldy! Please send help. What is it, Principal? Whose bus is that? I told you to rent a normal bus! Go out into the woods and collect firewood. Can I use your ruler to start a fire? How about instead of using my ruler, I use you? Never mind, I will search for firewood. <laughs> Help me. Oh, God. I'm so sick, and Princey having a day off is taking care of me. 
Wait, who will give them detention? No principal in the schoolhouse, let's do this. Party. Let's play! Nobody! Yay! Why are you talking while I'm teaching? I don't know. Why are you teaching during our conversation? Got it. Ha ha ha! Oh. Oh. Hold up! What, 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 what the? So, what you guys do? I hate you so much, you bully. <laughs> you two brats want to back out of our deal, eh? Well, isn't that just a... Uh, what was that? Oh, that was my... Oh. I'm hungry. You know what would really hit the spot for my poor little Tommy? What? A fire roast goat with eight legs with a juicy snake dragon tail. Wait, but, but that sounds like me. Ah, so it is, eh? Oh dear. Guess you'll have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, ain't I a stinker? Sure am hungry though. What'd I miss? Wanna know how I could tell you two apart? Well, Mugman is the sweet and smart one, and Cuphead is the rude and stinky one. <laughs> picking my nose, picking my nose. I'm just sitting here picking my nose. It's Mugman's turn to pick his nose. Call back. I can turn my tongue into a hand. I can turn my head into a balloon. I can fire my skull out of my mouth. I have five fingers instead of only four. I win. <laughs> I'm going to give you some advice. In battle, it's always important to be respectful of your opponent. Winning a battle should be enough. There's no need for senseless gloating. Tell me, what did you boys usually say after you beat one of the debtors? Put a quarter in your slot, cause you played yourselves. Yes! Hey Cuphead, what's red and blue and terrible at fighting? Not us, that's for sure. They're not cheering for you. They're cheering because we saved this god-awful play. Thank you, thank you. You mercilessly insulted them all, didn't you? Um, maybe... <laughs> At least tell me you had some good ones. Oh yeah, they were great! Oh, you should've seen them, we burned them so good! Kala, I really like you and I want to skip that awkward phase where we both pretend to be perfect, so let's be ourselves. No holding back, just let it all out. So relieved you said that. <laughs> I've been holding that in since you first got here. <laughs> well, I'm glad we cleared the air. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Today we have some motivational words from our faculty. Keep up the good work. Do I sense some good vibes? You need to sleep. <laughs> He's so sleepy all the time. Whoa, that thing's amazing! What does it eat? Up dog. Furious dab! Shh, not yet, Dark Shadow. Wait until he asks what it is. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> but, Mr. Izawa, smiling is good for the soul. <laughs> oh, please. I have no soul. <laughs> oh dear, my teacher's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> a nice relaxing day for a change. Huh? What the? Zelda? What? Where's the Master Sword? What? 
Where is the Master Sword? I, uh, I put it away. Uh, where? Why do you need to know? I need it. Uh-uh. Don't you think about running off to do no daring do goody nonsense. We've been planning this dinner for three months. Hyrule is in danger. My evening is in danger. You tell me where my sword is, woman. We are talking about the greater good. Greater good? I'm the princess. I'm the greatest good you're ever gonna get. Ganon, please just kill me now. The last champion. <laughs> How does it feel knowing you are about to lose again? Pathetic. Yeah! <sighs> Don't hug me, I'm Iron Man says. Hey, first prize. Why do you want to marry people? I've been programmed to desire your image. Running in the hall says, <coughs> Playtime. What would you <coughs> do if Baldi <coughs> died? <coughs> is, is Baldi Daddy dying? Playtime, are you? Please, don't die, Baldi Daddy. Huh? Okay. Homemade playtime cry. Supper Happy Fun Time says, Hey Playtime, have you ever been in detention? And if so, what for? One time I tied up Baldy Daddy with my jump rope and got grounded slash detention. Playtime! Jack Donut says, Playtime, who is actually nice to you? Bully! Help me. Grapes of wrath? Please explain, bully. Here's the grapes. And here's the wrath. Ooh, got some on my dress. Do I have to say it? <laughs> um, so, if your name is Baldy, What's with the hair? Ah, uh, uh, pu puberty. No drinking in the halls. Uh, is Pepsi okay? <laughs> hey. Um, hello? Want to learn math? What the? Player, do you know the answer to this problem? No, I know this one. 12. No, 16. No, wait. No, 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 no. Ah! Don't exaggerate and answer the problem. Oh, okay. It's eight, 18. <laughs> Hmm, something is missing. Oh, I know what. Ta-da! Hmm, perfect. Body wears lipstick, confirmed. Hey guys, what did you bring for lunch today? A harmonica! A whole bunch of mini microphones! <laughs> what? How'd you think we got our voices to sound like this? Welcome to Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. Oh. Uh, hi? Welcome to my schoolhouse. But it's not your school. Baldi's Basics! That's me! For a wrong answer, I'll have to hit you with my ruler. What? Are you, are you crazy? I'll, I'll, I'll call the police. Huh? 
911. 911, what's your- Please help me! My teacher wants to hit me with this ruler! Well, kid, sorry, but that's legal here. Shouldn't have misbehaved. But- Goodbye. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> So, uh, about that... No, wait, I was joking! <laughs>